What is going on everybody? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you all. And today guys, we're going to be talking about a brand new cryptocurrency that launched only a few days ago. But as always, I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor, but rather I always try to put you guys on the plays that I'm in. The global cryptocurrency market is looking pretty good over the last seven days. We see Bitcoin is up 12%, Ethereum up 7%, and a lot of the ERC20 tokens are also performing relatively well compared to the last few months. But what we're going to talk about today is the new opportunity that approached me. So again, a huge shout out to Wukong Token for sponsoring today's video. They're the ones who reached out to me and told me about their project, like a lot of projects do most of the time. And fortunately for me, it's a no. But here, after, after seeing their mechanism for passive income with their farming and staking protocol via the Ethereum blockchain, it was almost a no brainer. So what we're going to look at today is Wukong Finance, their website. We're going to look at their um, farming and pools. So the different farming and staking mechanism that they have in place, their audit, and also the chart, which is looking really, really good. So the first thing that you'll see on Wukong's, Wukong Finance's website is the total value locked. $713,000 with current market conditions are currently locked on their website via either farming or the staking pools. So what does this all mean? And what does, what does, what's to anticipate or expect when you stake your own tokens if you are looking to maybe diversify your ERC-20 or what some people might call your meme token portfolio? And you see here, they have this little area that says your lottery winnings. Wukong to collect, there's currently $0 and the total jackpot this round is currently at zero because it's something that they're still in the works of and going to be launching relatively soon. First and foremost, let's look at the farm that they have. So these kind of protocols have been seen in DeFi, specifically more on the Binance chain. But Ethereum, this is kind of a little bit of a newer mechanism. We know with Shiba Inu, those of you who invested in SHIB, we know that they have you know their liquidity pools and woofable tokens. But what Wukong is doing here is a little bit different because of the amount of APR or return on your investment that you are getting with only a six day lock period. So even about a week or less, you could see here they have a DAI or DAI um, stable coin Wukong liquidity pair that you can actually farm. So you get a 6,385 APR annual percentage return. So meaning if you keep your tokens locked for the span of a year, that is the expected return on your investment you'll be getting earning in Wukong their native coin. Well, the th other thing you got to realize though, is you're going to be staking probably for six to seven days at a time and you can continue to harvest or gain some of your tokens that you're gaining passively um, over time every six or seven days. They also have the Wukong Ethereum liquidity pair. So if you're somebody who's looking to potentially go into more of an Ethereum, if you're, long, if you're long on ETH and you're looking to potentially pair those two together, 4,800, 4,800% is your if your expected APR at the very beginning at launch those these two numbers were in the millions but of course as people deposited money in the yield de decreases over time kind of like the same thing that we saw with Shiba Inu and Bone specifically huge yields but decreased over time as more and more people deposited money into the farming mechanism and protocol the other thing you could see here is the liquidity pool or the pools that they have available and right now, it's just where you would basically just deposit Wukong and you get compound interest or APR of about 1,500% per year. So annual percentage returns. So overall, from a mechanism standpoint, if you're looking for a token that is performing relatively well and also going to be giving you a passive income mechanism every week, Wukong might be the token for you. Now, their contract was audited by Solidity Finance. So you can see the audit report here and all findings that they found below findings one and two have been resolved through some, um, though there are some centralized aspects that are present. And oftentimes in DeFi as a whole, if you don't renounce your contract, for example, you're considered a potential centralized entity because you can make changes, yada, yada. There's a lot of different things that these audit, uh, these auditors say and do, but you can see here, token transfers do not transfer delegates along with the token. This has been fixed. And then informational, the not block AD, um, adder or ADDR 
modifier is not used in the contract. And then again, the resolution was the team has implemented the above recommendation. And for here, the team has also implemented the recommendation from the auditor. So overall, the contract actually looks pretty good. They talk about the token supply at a billion, their taxes, and they've been doing a no tax event for quite a bit of the time so far since the token has launched. But I think again, the taxes are going to be, it's going to be a lower tax type token. So make sure if you're interested in any crypto assets in the market, that you do your research, do your due diligence. I'm just here to showcase different projects, to put eyes on the project. So you make the informed decision yourself whether or not you want to invest in something. So again, their chart, currently sitting at a $1.5 million market cap in the last four days of launch. You see their launch was pretty impressive. Got almost a $1.2 million market cap, all-time high to right about $2.5 million, and now regressed a little bit or retraced to back to $1.5 million. And again, the expectation, I think, is we could see this thing continue to grow. We could see this thing continue to smash numbers, smash through all-time highs of $2.5 million. Maybe go to three, five, ten. Who really knows? As long as the market continues to do well, I have pretty high expectations for Wukong because the team behind it has been pretty impressive that I've been in communication with. Again, they're undoxed, unknown to the world. So again, you got to take that for a grain of salt because at the end of the day, it ends up being in DeFi as a whole. You have to trust that what they have done so far, the contract that has been audited, their audit report, all these things are showing that they are going to be resilient and continue to push their project because all it comes down to is how much effort the developers will keep pushing and how much the community will continue to also push through. So you can see their Twitter has been pretty vocal. We're seeing some pretty awesome things. They were listed on CoinMarketCap over the last couple of days. And they have this little tweet here from September 10th. In 2013, you missed Bitcoin. All the way down to 2021, you missed SHIB. In 2022, you don't want to miss Wukong. I appreciate your guys' love and support. Make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, especially when I showcase new projects. Because I'm thinking about doing something more of a segment. You know, every Monday, maybe every Wednesday, we could decide what day of the week. We call them Launch Mondays, Launch Wednesdays, or even Launch Fridays. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, everybody, as always, keep investing. Peace.